to Hardeep Puri, the fact is, despite, despite all of this, despite everything in statistical terms going right for the government, you still lost the elections in Karnataka. Oh, I am glad that uh, we occasionally lose elections also. Otherwise, they say that EVMs are not functioning. <laughs> I mean, there is, one, there is one very prominent member who used to be part of that party. Now he cut, went across somewhere else because he's, um, he wanted a Rajya Sabha seat, which he got. He used to be my teacher. He actually organized a group to look at the malfunctioning of EVMs. So I was hoping that something like that would happen. Not a tune, nowhere. Look, let's get serious. In a democracy, this is not the first time a sitting party, I'm talking from 1947 onwards, and I'm very fond of telling this story when I was writing my second book. Uh, at that time, the Congress party won, I think, in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh. And the publisher called me and said, Sir, would you like to revisit your con conclusions? Because my conclusion was that the BJP was headed for 300 plus in 2019. I said, please allow me to write an extended introduction where I will address this particular point. Navika, Democracy is all about testing assumptions. If people make mistakes, you have the opportunity to introspect, or you should introspect, see where you went wrong, and then get stand up and get going. And I think the BJP, not only because it is a large political party, and it has a lot of internal democracy reconciliation also. I think whatever happened in Karnataka, our vote share didn't go down, it's 36%. In Himachal, we, I think the vote share difference was 0.9%. There may have been other mistakes we made, and we will gladly acknowledge those and correct those. But going forward from here to 2024, you asked me one question about the agencies. And my favorite story there is, if you are recruiting teachers, and thousands of teachers apply, and then you grade them or you list them, and periodically, it's found that you don't take the top 24, you take somebody there. And the word goes around that you're collecting money for those appointments. It's not the agency which initiated the action. One of the aggrieved persons went to the court, and the court directed investigation. That is what happened. So if your case, as I'm sure knowing you, I've known you for such a long time, that can't be your case. But if the opposition case is, we have a sense of entitlement. Parivar, this, that. And one of those things is you can't use any agency against us. Are bhai? Tum jab power mein the, you use 356 100 times. One of their prime ministers used 356, one prime minister 50 times. Hum to agar kisi ne kaam pe corruption ki allegation hai using an agency, aapne to state government ji dismiss kar di thi. Ki thi ke nahi, this is part of history. Let me pick up on the point where you said that uh, ahead of the 2019 elections, you were writing a book and you s predicted a 300 plus victory. My question to you is, uh, are you currently writing a book for 2024? I'll tell you something. I'll make the production without writing a book. Look, make no mistake. The voter in, two, in 2024, I'm talking about the general election, will be faced with two competing models. Okay, one is the Modi decade in which the economic indices, the other achievements, etc. will be in front of the voter and an opposition which will be issue-based in some areas, which will be fighting as to who will be the leader and which will be practicing a variety of freebie politics advocacy. Oh, I will do a unit of 300 people, I will do this here, every family in which we have a daughter who is a graduate and is 18 years old, I will give you 1,000 rupees a month, and they will not get it. Then they say, they have been 70 years old, we have been one year and we have been one year and we have been one year. Look, just look at the financial situation of those states. I think someone, 
and I don't mean just us, because uh, someone in a position of responsibility should decide whether this kind of reody or freebie politics is what is going to happen. Now, somebody was telling me the other day, why is this issue not being attacked from the point of view of the fact that even if you're giving freebies, it's based on some taxpayers' money? And I think that realization is gaining ground. I have absolutely no doubt that the 2024 election, based on the delivery of goods and services to the most vulnerable sections of Indian society by the Modi government, will be the basis, and then the voter will judge. I have no problem in predicting. Uh, you and I have taken bets in the past. Most of them I have won. Well, uh, we can't discuss betting on national television because... Uh, there was, no, there was no consideration. It was just an argument and a bet. <laughs> well, Mr. Hardeep Puri, the question is also about anti-incumbency, fatigue. Ten years is a long time to be in power. Do you think that is something that is going to be a challenge for your government? Not, not for the uh, central government, certainly not. Because I think there is a refreshing quality about the work, and this is work-related. And therefore, I think this kind of work... I'll, I'll give you a small example. All the central schemes which were conceptualized from 2014 were actually implemented from June 2015 onwards. All of them had a gestation period of, say, five years. In some cases, you mentioned smart cities, which is one of the most successful schemes, and I'll come to that in a minute. But it takes five years and a little beyond. All those schemes are now maturing or have matured. Let me give you uh, one or two examples. The Swachh Bharat mission, all right? The Prime Minister said from the ramparts of the Red Fort, 14th August 2000 and 15th August 2014, that it's his dream that the best tribute we can pay to the Mahatma is to make India open defecation free by 2nd October 2019, which is 150th anniversary more or less done throughout the country. One state got, wasn't able to catch up. Other things followed. 11 crore toilets or even more. Um, individual household toilets, public community toilets. Amrut scheme where 500 cities with a population of over 1 lakh were given water tap connections, uh, sewage treatment, etc. But when those schemes finished or were nearing completion, SBM 2.0 and Amrut 2.0 were announced, and they are now in full play. 4,71,000 crore provisioning, which means what was then a small urban scheme was expanded, and now the whole country is covered, both through the urban and rural component. When you have work of that kind, the work speaks, and I think it introduces what I call pro-incumbency, rather than the fatigue of seeing the same person uh, again. Which, I mean, Gujarat is a case in point. I mean, I, I saw the Gujarat figure. What is frightening about that is that, you know, next time will be very difficult to beat. But, um, but I think where you see work being done, you have that advantage. 